Who's ready to do an episode? Mm-hmm. Oh, you sound so ready. Yep. Mm-hmm. Not sick at all. Mm-hmm. So what did you just do? What? Oh, oh yeah. We finished Friends. Don't sound so excited about it. Yeah, I don't... Finished Friends. We were going to do it season by season, but that show is really easy to just start it and then never stop. Yeah. So by the time I realized we probably should stop, we were already in like season six. So then we just finished it. Uh, so all ten seasons of Friends. Yeah. Scarlet's baby eye opinions, since they were not a Friends person. They had never seen it or anything except for the two seasons that we watched before. Mm-hmm. I have seen it. It's probably like my fourth or fifth time watching it all the way through. Because I was around during Friends Mania mm-hmm. when they uh, were on the air for they went out in 2004. You were a year old when it ended. <laughs> yeah. So how do we feel about Friends? I didn't like the ending. Okay, well, before the ending, what about the show in general? I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, yeah, don't um, try to say you didn't like it. So we won't watch Friends. Yeah, I we did like friends. it. I liked the show. It was a really good comfort show. Are for we going to watch Are we gonna watch Friends? Um, I liked it. Um, I don't really have a favorite character. Um, hmm. Joey? Mm, yeah, someone. Chandler. No. You don't like Chandler? I like him. It's just not my favorite character. Well, we know it's not Ross. Uh, okay. I like Ross in the way that he's, like, pathetic and sad <laughs> in his dating life. Like, I, I'm i just like, bro, just, it's not that hard to just date people. Like You don't know. How dare you? <laughs> I have, like... You're 20 years old. And you're pretty. You don't get to talk. Oh, you, oh, you think I'm pretty? Shut up. Oh. <laughs> no. Um. But um, he literally, in like all these episodes, it's like, oh, he's awkward or whatever. And he messes up every single day. Or he, he talks to women really bad. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> uh, at this point, it just hurts to watch. Like... I get it, I have my love life problems, but that's because I have, like, stalkers and stuff. I don't have problems talking to people, like, like, I have anxiety, but not that bad. And I don't have, like, like, I can talk to somebody. Like, I can flirt with people. It's because you're pretty. You have pretty privilege. Oh, I have pretty privilege? You have pretty white privilege. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you think I have pretty privilege? Yes, you absolutely do. Mm. Oh, I do? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. You get that pretty privilege. Mm. No, but Ross is insane. Yeah. So it's beyond that. Yeah. Um, Yeah, he's also kind of like a little crazy, like intense. Um, No, not Ross. Like, in a lot of the shows, he's like freaking out about things. I'm like, bruh. Well, that's kind of the show. Like... I get it if he's freaking out about things, but he's, like, yelling at people and stuff, and I'm like, that's I so I don't irritating. get why they left the apartment. I think that was stupid. Oh, wouldn't... With the, for the kids? Or okay. for the kids? So, so here's the thing. I guess at the time it makes sense. It was 2004. Yeah. It's a much different time. Yeah. But in today's world... Yeah, you why can the raise... Why the fuck are you leaving that, like, that rent-controlled yeah. apartment... That's massive. The thing is bigger than most houses. It's already got an extra room that you weren't using. Like yeah. it's it's perfect. It's and it's massive. It's got this giant kitchen. It's great and you live you have a great support group that's already around you. That's the other thing. They're breaking that up. Yeah. So they're breaking up the support group that they have cuz they all lived within proximity of each other. So if they needed help, they could get it. It's just a really bad plan. Yeah. Just a re- it really whatever they had to figure out how to end the show. I get it. Just stupid. Mm. And even they didn't seem to really fully buy it in the yeah. in the show. And then because several of the k- 
kid, uh, several characters have kids that were being raised in the city. Well, that and then like um, at the uh, end, I was like, why did Rachel get back with Joey or not Joey? I'm flipping Ross. Because that was. Ah, uh, I hated that. Because everybody wanted them to be together. They couldn't send her off to Paris. Like I would. No, been... that was awful. I hated that. They I... never talked about their damn kid. I thought about that. Pissed me off. Mm. What the? No, I'm ready to explain that. Uh... You didn't explain shit, they, and they didn't explain mm. it in the show. They just so that's what gets me is is that was just another thing to throw out there for the will they won't they bullshit. Yeah. They really should have gotten together about three seasons prior. Well, my thing There was, was no real reason for them to not be apart mm-hmm. or, or any of them to be apart the way that it did because, like, they already proved that one of them friends becoming a couple worked. They became a couple and stayed a couple. Yeah. Chandler and Monica becoming a couple and stayed... Because it wasn't like... It, it changed the dynamic, but it still worked. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I th- it should have been like... I think they all could have been a been couple, and it would have worked. Like It could have been like Joey and Phoebe, and Ross and Rachel, and Chandler and Monica, and then they all would have... They just would have lived forever, and it would have been great. Yeah. But then, like... We'd be on season 40. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I just didn't really like that. I They could have just sent her off to Paris, and I would have been happy with that ending. Just because, you know, um, you know, Monica and Chandler are moving to that house, and then uh, Rachel's going to Paris, and that would have been the end, you know? But then they were just like, no. Ugh, I hated they that. They have a kid. No. They have a no. kid. Single parents exist. Single parents exist, but they have a kid, and... There's, you know what? Ross is a good dad. He doesn't seem to be a bad dad. Yeah, he's okay. So, like, they have a kid. And yeah, that that then kid also... being uprooted and then being transported back and forth between two countries? Yeah. That's gonna be awful. But then also, you also have to think that Ross has another kid there in the States. I, know he has I don't think kid he would have just upped and left. He wasn't going to up. That's what I'm saying. That kid is going to have to go back and forth between two countries. No, Ross would have went back and forth. That's what I was saying earlier is that she was so going... Then it, so then it sucks. So his other kid gets shafted. Well, Rachel was going to go to Paris, right? And then he, Rachel was going to go to Paris and then... Ross would have been just like flown in. We're having more of a conversation about this than yeah. literally they ever did in the show about yeah. about this actually what been really complicated and, and hard to do. Also, her kid was not there when she was on the plane. Um, well, that was explained too, though, in the show. She was going to go there and then she was going to settle down for a while and then her, her mom was going to bring the kid with her. To Paris. I think you understand how, like, how fucked up that would be for that child. Not really. Okay, look, compared to your life, it's a breeze. But, like, in just, in general, that's not good. No. You need solid foundations. Mm. You do need solid foundations. That kid's already gonna be fighting against some shit. Well, they it's have two, Ross's kid. They, they it's have, already got problems. We, it's already messed it's up. Ross's and Rachel's kid. They ain't exactly the two most level-headed people in the world. Mm-hmm. But then, like, I was okay. I was also really just like, especially in a post nine eleven world, flying yeah. back and forth. Mm-hmm. Oh God. But then I just, I just didn't really like. Also, I kind of like the adoption thing that they had with Monica and Chandler. Like the, uh, oh, we we can't have kids or whatever. But then they adopt. I think that was really nice. And then it turned out to be twins instead of uh, just one. And Monica and Chandler are surprisingly well written or well and well rounded. It's yeah. everyone else that decides to go insane because. Yeah. 
I, I don't know. I think they forgot what to do with them for a while. But what, what's, what's weird is they kept having to think of crazy things for them to do. And that's not when the show was at its best. When the show was at its best, it was just regular people doing regular shit. And you never run out of ideas because it's just slice of life comedy. But for whatever reason, as the show went on, they decided to have crazy shit happen. Mm-hmm. And I didn't really like the crazy stuff that happened. Okay, I didn't like Phoebe's whole, like, Mike versus, uh, what's his face? David? David? Oh, well, that, was, yeah. that was just stupid. I didn't like that because I'm like, I didn't like Mike, okay? I just didn't like him. I didn't you really didn't like ever... Paul Rudd? I didn't, yeah. Um, Whoa. No, I don't like him. I, it's just his vibe. I just don't like his vibe. Like, the, like... there's nothing that it's I... It's Paul Rudd's vibe! It's Paul Rudd! Like, I don't know anything about him, really, other than he's an actor, like an old-school actor, apparently, or whatever. Old-school? Oh, 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 my heart. <laughs> he's so far away from what old... What? What is... Okay. Okay, anyways. Old-school? <laughs> he's... He's... He, that's not old school. Cary Grant would be old school. What are we talking about here? Anyways. Paul Rudd is still acting. He's only in his 50s. You fucking child. Anyways. But I just didn't like his vibe. Like, I just don't like his vibe. And then as Mike, I also... I just didn't like his vibe. I mean, David? Yeah. Or, yeah, whatever his face is. But then, um, like, the... David guy, the Mike guy, the other guy, the scientist guy, right? I didn't like him. Well, I did like him. But then I didn't like the fact that, you know, at the end where it was Mike versus David, I didn't like that part. Because I was like, she should have been with the scientist guy, in my opinion. Because he... That was they, all the way back at season one. Oh, yeah, well... That was way before that. I meant when he came back. I think they should have been together. And he should have asked her. And she should have said yes. Because she was going to say yes. And then it didn't happen. And I was like, brah. Because they, they really liked each other. And Mike, I felt like he just asked her to marry her, him just because he wanted to be with her. And well, That is usually why you ask someone I mean, to marry yeah. <laughs> But it's like he didn't want to before. And I'm like, oh, well. And I just, I was just like, ugh, whatever. You know? We never got to see Ross and Rachel get married, though. Well, technically we did. But. Oh, yeah, they Vegas. did get married, yeah. So, what was your, what's your favorite part of the show? I know it's not the ending because the ending sucks. Yeah. Um. Also, I hated, okay, so I was going to say, you know, my favorite part is, like, when um, Rachel gets that uh, job at that um, place, the fashion place. I can't remember Ralph what it's Lauren? called. Yeah. Or Bloomingdale's. Uh, Ralph Lauren, where she has, like, her own office and everything. I really like that. Because um, I was like, oh, look at her. You know, she was a, a waitress, and then she moved on to... A Bloomingdale's, and then she went to Ralph Lauren or whatever, and I was like, "That's really nice, you know." Um, you know, it was just a really good thing. But then I didn't like the thing where she was hitting on her assistant, like, and then she kind of like s sexually harassed him. I didn't really like that. Hold on, my mom, my mom, my mom's texting me. This is what sucks when you do everything on a phone. Yeah. Hold on, we're going. To... Okay, where were we? Uh, I was talking about um, Rachel, and she was like, how I liked when she worked out Ralph Lauren or whatever it's called. Uh, and then I I didn't like the fact, or like I liked how, you know, she went from being a waitress to um, working at Bloomingdale's and then working at Ralph Lauren, right? And how like you know that was just a really nice thing, right? But then I didn't like how she started, like, uh, like, hitting on, not really hitting on, but, like. What, she hooked, hooked up with Tag? Yeah, her assistant. She was, like, um, dating her assistant or whatever, and then she was, 
like, sexually harassing him, like, at the f- first part, sort of. Ah, as a nice. I was like, that's so gross. Why would you do that? I don't well, like that. Well, actually, she hired him because he was hot. Yeah. Which I didn't like either. I was like, girl, no. Also, I just didn't like him as a character. I don't know why. I just, I was just like, eh, Well, they, yeah, they didn't give him anything to do. Yeah. He was just kind of there, and I didn't really like him. Um, but, you know, it's just whatever. I don't know. What about you? I've always loved the show. Okay. So it's, I don't know what more I could say on it. I've, mm-hmm. I've seen it so much. I always watch the reruns. I remember when it was on, there were new episodes. You know, it, it is, there's something about it that is very easy to watch. Mm-hmm. It's always funny. And it's, it's comforting. Oh yeah, it's a comfort show. It's very comforting. And well, weirdly, both progressive and regressive at the same time. Yeah. You know, I have a comfort show. Uh, it's called Modern Family. <laughs> That's a newer show. We're talking about Friends. Yeah, I know. I love Modern Family, though. Or, yeah. Because, like, Friends is both, like, homophobic but also pro-gay. It's very yeah, weird. Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> I noticed that. That's what I was saying the other day was, like... Um, I was saying that, um... It's like grandparents that are learning. Well, there was, like, <laughs> in one of the openings, there was, like, a, a pride flag out front on, uh, there was a pride, uh... Well, it's in New York. A pride flag, and then, like, uh, it was, like, on a building or something, and then when, like, the whole series, it's, like, homophobia jokes or whatever. I'm like, are you serious? But then one of well, those season characters... one, there's a there's a gay wedding. Is there? Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, Ross's ex wife. Yeah, and then like um um, and then one of the characters, like one of the um uh, he's like a waiter or something like that. He's he's gay and he shows up a lot. Um, and there's, like, no, he's not, like, the butt of the joke, like... Oh, gay waiter. Yeah. Um, but, like... <laughs> like, he, him he comes being, in in the later seasons, it's just gay yeah. waiter. Well, him being gay isn't the butt of the joke. It's, like, him betting on the fact that Ross is staying past that a certain Ross time. Ross is sad. Yeah, that's the joke. That's the butt of the joke. And not him being gay. And, like, um... I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but, like, that and then, like, but then the main characters and stuff, like, there's a, there's, like, a a storyline where uh, Joey and Ross, like, to cuddle and, like, take naps together or whatever. But it's, like, uh, it's <laughs> a gay weird. joke. It was very weird. I mean, that's not that weird. You know, they're friends weird. or whatever. That's a little weird. But, like... Well, they're... It has nothing to do with sexual. It's just weird. Well, they're adult friends, you know. They can do whatever. But, like... It was like a homophobia joke. And it's it's just so weird. I don't know. It, but then there's a lot of talk about, like, girl-on-girl action. Hell yeah. And that's, like, a reoccurring thing. That God intended. <laughs> and I'm like... Why, though? Like, why? I don't get it. Well, just lesbian porn's always been incredibly popular. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's true. That's just, that's the joke. That that That's it. Yeah. It's, they're all horn dogs. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. There's not, re- that, that, there, that, there's not a whole lot of depth to that particular joke. That's, it's yeah. very surface level. But then it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Very strange. Any surprises since you didn't know what you were getting into? Uh, but I knew everything. Yeah, I was very surprised at Chandler and Monica getting together, but. Uh oh. But I, yeah. I hear something. I'll be right back. Okay, unpausing the recording. I'm back. Okay. Had to get a pair care package for Scarlett. Yeah, that was so nice. Mm-hmm. Oh. I know. Oh. What's going on? Now, this thing is not like me using it when it's recording. Anyway. 
Yeah. Um, what the hell? What's going on here? Bagged all up, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Monica and Chandler. Um, uh, I thought that was a nice surprise. Like, when they were in the hotel room, I was like, <gasps> you know? Like, I was very surprised that they were together. So that was actually shocking for you? Yeah. That's something I always knew, because that happened... I think that happened... I wasn't too old when that... Either I wasn't born yet, or that had... Because I can't remember what season that happened in. Yeah. But I was like, <gasps> this whole time? And then, like... Or not, like, this whole time, but, like, you know what I mean. I'm just like, oh, that was surprising. And then uh, Joey and Rachel getting together, that was surprising. That's what you wanted to happen. I know, and I did. And it didn't really happen. Because, like, they're so good for each other, but then, you know, they didn't, they couldn't do sexual stuff or whatever, which would have been fine. Like, they could have been still a couple, just, like, just didn't have sex, I guess. So, that's fine. Yeah, I think that would have been totally A-OK -okay for Joey and Rachel. I mean, the two they... two non-sexual people. Sure, yes. that would have been a okay. I mean, if they slept with other people, maybe that would be okay. But then, yeah, but they're yeah. monogamous, so I don't think that's not how that would work. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Um. And then Ross, and like, put your new age bullshit on them in the nineties. Or I guess that would be 04 when that happened. But regardless, the early 2000s. Mm hmm Polly, you know, like in the 70s. And hey, the whoa, 80s hey, wait, hey, 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 we're, we're. No, that was swingers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, like. <laughs> the people, difference. People were like Polly back in the 70s and 80s and stuff, so. No, they were swingers and had key parties. Oh. There's a difference. Oh, yeah. Now, in the biblical times, they absolutely were. <laughs> Many wives, many concubines. Ew. Anyways. Come here, concubine. Ew. Oh, and then, <laughs> okay, I do, I did like, um, Ross's ex-wife. I can't remember her name. Carol? Though. Yeah, but, like, they kind of... Which one? <laughs> he got divorced three no. times. The first one. No, I like her, and I like how they handled her, like... With the whole lesbian thing. Like, the lesbian thing was kind of a joke. Uh, like, but it wasn't because she was a lesbian. It was because she left him. Well, that's, it's a pretty raw deal. Yeah. I mean, be in love and finds out, oh, like, I'm, I'm leaving you for someone else. But I feel like it wasn't, like... Just an unlucky bastard. <laughs> like, I feel like it wasn't a homophobic thing towards her it was just like oh she left and she's the ex-wife or whatever and she even stayed in the show for a while like she stayed in the show for a long time well of course it's ben's mom yeah it, well even before now, that susan took took a second it, now susan oh, was, no, was kind of gone immediately yeah <laughs> she's only there for a while but um i was about to say oh no and she was um there uh, Carol was there before Ben, but, um, like, the time, like... Of course Carol was there before Ben. Well, the time that she said that, oh, I want a divorce, she was like, oh, well, I'm pregnant and it's yours. Yeah. So I was like, oh. I think it was that was in the same episode, but I'm not sure. Same season. Mm. I didn't they're very short, they're very time. short episodes, so they kind of blend together. Yeah. yeah. Um... Liked that. I liked the lesbian wedding. I did not like the aesthetic of the lesbian wedding. You mean the incredibly ugly lesbian wedding? Yeah. Good God. Not the lesbians were ugly. No, it was the wedding itself was just very ugly. Like the theme of it was. No, you can say it. it. Lesbians, are, lesbians are ugly. You can say it. No lesbians. <laughs> no. Don't let them get away with it. No. <laughs> but then, like, it was just. You, you're in a safe space. You can. You it was can, so early two thousands, and I hated it. It was just. Ugh. You can you can share your lesbian prejudice here. It's okay. Oh yes, <laughs> whatever. You know you hate the muff munchers. You, you, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I'll say I'll say anything crazy just to see you smile. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> no, but then also I wanted Joey to do gay porn at one point. Like I wanted him to have a side story of doing gay porn. Okay, so let's stop right there. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the show. That's just you and your weird fantasies. I just wanted that to be a thing because he's like an actor in New York. Joey of all places. was not gonna do gay porn. He was in porn in one episode, and he couldn't yeah. even go through with it. Remember? He couldn't? No, that's why he was copy guy. Oh, I thought you don't remember that episode where they watched the videotape with it was him and Ross's girlfriend that Rachel fucked over. I thought that... everybody says Ross is evil, and I get it. He's he's insane, but Rachel, we we keep forgetting that it, she is. It, She's she was, toxic. She was not innocent in that. Yeah. If it wasn't for her, Ross would have been in a lovely, would have been married twice, happily. She's talk, toxic, true, I guess. But then, Literally, I didn't like, like it's okay. all her fault. I didn't like Emily. I just, I just didn't like her. I liked her. her at first until she went insane. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't like her. Um... I did, okay, I did like Charlie. I did not like that Charlie... Just left. immediately left, yeah. Well, I didn't like the. F- I didn't like it when she left Ross for, like, and then went to Joey and then went back to Ross. I didn't like that. I was like, ugh. But then I liked the fact that she went back to her ex-boyfriend. I thought that was kind of. <laughs> well, I mean, who who wouldn't go back to Greg Kinnear? I thought that was kind of like, oh, that's. <sighs> I'm. I mean, yeah. I love every time I try to put words in your mouth about lesbians, you get all red and stuff. Like, no, oh, okay. no, the le- I want the lesbians to like me, no. Yes, I want all the lesbians. <laughs> and your little butch here, and you're like, no, please, no, oh, okay. no. <laughs> I just think your aesthetics are terrible, not not you as people. No, not in general. I mean, like, that, that wedding, wedding was, was bad. Awful. Yeah. Everybody was horribly dressed. It was terrible. I was like... Why? Lots of weird earth tones that somehow didn't yeah. match. I didn't know you could. I didn't know that was possible. I didn't know yeah. earth tones couldn't match. <laughs> it was just so bad, and I was lots like, of oh. unnecessary velvet. Yeah, it was just. Oof. Both brides were terrible. Yeah. Also, Rachel's mom. Okay, so she used to be really Mary Tyler Moore. nice and like happy and stuff, but then. In the later seasons that we see her, because we see her and then she's all happy and stuff, and then she's like, oh, I'm getting a divorce with your dad or whatever. Like, uh, well, at first we see her, she's happy, she's checking out Rachel, you know, making sure she's okay and she's so nice and happy and whatever, right? And then she comes back and she's like, oh, I'm having a divorce with your dad or whatever. Um, I don't know if that was two separate things or if that was one separate or if well, they they thing. changed some characters around. Like they did that with really Joey. Matter. You notice that they couldn't decide how stupid they wanted Joey to be. Oh yeah. So at some points, times he'll be like almost a child. He's so stupid. Yeah. Like remember, Joey used to like to read. Remember there was the episode with with The Shining and Little Women. For him and Rachel actually got in an argument. Oh yeah, and he bought over, the encyclopedia over, as well. Well, that was that was just because of the salesman guy. But like, no, he 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 was reading The Shining, and he's and he put the book in the freezer. And why he put book in freezers? Well, sometimes books so scary you got to put it in freezer. Yeah. <laughs> and then um and then Rachel gets him to read Little Women. Mm-hmm. But he's like, I usually don't read books like that. I don't read girl books. But he he does read. He reads like pop popular fiction he was reading stephen king which is normal but yeah. then later he makes jokes about not being able to re- like he doesn't read like i we're not, b- not bored enough to read or i don't read books books aren't for men or you know stuff like that yeah. in the much later seasons mm-hmm. um a few characters changed changed like that yeah. it, it in weird weird ways i don't know maybe you wouldn't notice it if you watched it over the course of 10 years but it's a little yeah. bit more noticeable when you're watching them back to back to back to back yeah. Well, um, Rachel's mom. Two hundred episodes. In the later seasons, um, whenever she shows up, like, well, Rachel's mom in the later seasons, um, she shows up and she's like mad about everything all the time, and she's like, there's like a joke about how she pops pills and stuff. Divorce and will do that to you. Stuff like that, and like, it's it's crazy, and I'm like, dang, dang. 
Like her dad's was pretty consistent though. He was an asshole through and through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but then it was like something about antidepressants or whatever. I'll do that to you. But then like um she was like around for the baby and stuff. And you know when she was babysitting and stuff uh where she was at the bar. It was like Phoebe's birthday, you know, they were all at dinner and then they were at the bar, right? Um or she was there with the baby and she was happy then. And I was like, oh, I don't know. It was just strange for some reason, and mm-hmm. I didn't like it. I was like, why is Rachel's mom so mean? Like, And I understand she was mad at Monica because she didn't invite her until like the last minute of the baby shower. You know, whatever. But then I was just like... <sighs> so what are you excited to watch next? I don't know. I mean, we kind of already know one of the shows we're watching next. Yeah. There might be some new stuff in there, too. Yeah. we got to finish Scavenger's Reign. I didn't like that. You didn't like that show? That show's good. I don't like that. I, it, I, I'm very interested to see it's where it gross. goes. Of course it's gross. You're also, gross. it's sad. Yeah, it's very sad. Because... You're sad. Well, I don't want to spoil it, but... Somebody dies in there, and it's really sad. Who died? Well, I'm not going to say it on here. No. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, we don't know. We haven't finished it. Yeah, that's true. It's a weird fucking planet they're on. It's a weird show. I don't like it. I like it. That's some That's some of the most inventive sci-fi I've seen in a long time. It's it's good concept, and I just hate it. It's because you hate everything that makes you feel weird. It makes you it, feel feelings. It makes me feel weird. I don't like it. It makes you feel feelings. You don't like it. Yeah, well, it makes me feel gross. But you'll watch The Outsider. Yeah, that one was more mystery thriller. Like I wanted we to watched know. Kids get killed. Yeah, that was messed up. I couldn't. I, I was. That was episode one. Yeah, that was really disturbing. Ugh. And then every day, can we watch another episode of The Outsider? Yeah, because I wanted what? them to catch him we, and get him. We can watch another episode of The Outsider. And then I also wanted to know if it was just one or if it was multiple. Like, because in the, okay, spoiler alert, when they're talking to him at the end, he's like, um, or one of the characters, she asks him, you know, are there more of you and stuff? And he's like, well, I, or he doesn't say this exactly, but he, he's like, um, it was the girl who asked him. She was like, oh, you know, is there more of you or whatever? And he's like, um, you know, I don't know or whatever, but, um. Is there more of me? Or something along that line. It's like, he didn't know. But I wanted to know, like, is there more of him? Ah! Because, like, that's scary. That's scary. Like, a creature that mimics humans can look exactly like them. Almost down to the DNA of the person. Because they were, like, finding uh, the guy's DNA in the van. Uh Or at the crime scene or whatever. And... Like, that's scary as a concept. Just a creature that looks human, acts human. You're definitely going to like the shows that we're watching next, because X-Files, now I'm one of those shows that you've heard people talk about. Yeah, we started watching that. I yeah. know. Mm-hmm. So, what are you rating Friends? It's a good show. I, I wouldn't rate it on a 10 scale. Like, I wouldn't rate it. Okay, ten, 20 scale. 20 point scale, then. Mm, I'm not going to rate that 100 point scale no two point scale (laughs) but it's a good show i liked it it was really good i think i will watch it again uh i liked all the different character tropes i liked all the different side stories i liked the drama you feel like you finally aren't missing out on something not like not i'm sure you've heard about friends like for a long time well I, I didn't think I was missing out on anything with that. I just was like, oh, you know, I just didn't watch it or whatever. I thought it was kind of annoying that people who liked it, but then it's now... Good show. Well, I was just like, you know, trying to be cool or whatever. Being like, oh, you like Friends or whatever? No. But now, I'm, you know, very open-minded, you know. There was something about that time going around your, you know, big-ass CRT TV. Oh, man, Friends is on. And then watching Friends... Like seven at night, 
every night six or seven. And now I'm like, it's it's a good show. I understand like why people watch it. Eating my... dinner while Friends is on, yeah. shit like that. That that was good. And then luckily there wasn't too much of a drought between that and another good show to overtake my life. I mean there were other shows at the time, Dharma and Greg and shit like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, what 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 was that fucking show? The the gay one, Will and Grace. I never liked Will oh, and Grace. Oh yeah. I need to watch that. I've watched like, I mean, I clips might, of it. I might re I might watch it again, but I, I I never liked it. I watched parts of it. Um just uh, not a lot though, not a lot, but um But I went I straight from like I, friends and stuff like that. It's like what's the new show that we're gonna watch every week mm. besides the stupid reality bullshit. Well Will and Grace, isn't that the guy that has the guy in that who recently died? What? The gay guy? They're not. He did. No one's dead from Will and Grace. Yeah. No. No one's dead from Will and Grace. Mm. I can't remember his name. He's the he's he's the guy who says um the really flamboyant one. Yeah. He's not dead. He's like I'm talking to my friends, Mama. He's doing a. He does a podcast with Jason Bateman and. Uh, what? I thought he was dead. No, he's not dead. I thought it was a whole thing like a while back that he died. The fuck are you? I don't know what you're talking about. I saw it on TikTok. There's two main ga gay guys in the in show. Online. There's Will. Mm -hmm. He's the more, uh, more masculine one, less fruity, and then then his, uh, his friend in the show is very very flamboyant and gay. That guy has a podcast with Jason Bateman and uh, Will Arnett. Mm. And they just did a show on Max. Oh. Well, Not dead. Okay. Well, I think Friends is really good. I'm glad we could get that sorted out. <laughs> so next time, X-Files. Okay, yeah. May or may not do those episodes right after... Or do that episode right after this, because we've watched the first two episodes. Yeah... All right, good. There, that, that. Prepare for next episode, I guess, with Scarlet. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Might have to rewatch one of those X Files episodes because you said we didn't finish it when we did. Yeah, I fell asleep. Yep, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. All right. Yeah. Well, we thank y'all for listening, and we'll see y'all in the next one.